Hello there, today we are going to check how I did this animation and to do this animation you are going to need uh, an external tool or script the text delay, uh, you need to pay for it but I think it is worth the price you can also try it out for free Kinetic Kinetic type series series by Hulk 79. The first thing that I want to tell you is like this effect is really really cool when there is a lot of letters or glyphs as you can see here so if you go with less letters because this is based on a delay it is really kind of boring in a way here you can see something in between where we have more letters and yeah it starts to feel great but when it really feels spectacular is when you have tons of letters. After installing the text delay effect here, if you want to purchase it, uh, you can also just try it out. And you are going to have the link in the description. You need uh, a text here. This time is, it is set in Arial Bold. And yeah, the way I did it is like I just write it once and then copy paste it, copy paste it and, and stuff but it is important that you have the anchor point in the middle so let's say that the anchor point were not in the middle like here you remember this uh, trick where you select the layer you come up here and, and while holding down on control you click twice and bada bing it is just there so with the anchor point centered on your text layer we are going to start making a very simple scale animation so one keyframe we go to for example let's say one second later and this is going to be bigger and then here is going to be the same size as the beginning so copy pasting that keyframe is going to make it and now we are going to come here and deal a little bit with these keyframes so that they feel a little bit more interesting okay let's preview this i think this is nice maybe this a little bit more extreme would be nice okay i close the graph editor and now i'm going to go to the effects and presets and if you search for text text delay uh, this is the effect that we installed I'm going to apply it there and just from the get-go it is really interesting but let's say let's let's see what are the best settings here and because we have so many characters or letters I think the delay frames this is one second I'm going to set it to 0 comma 1 something like that let's check it out and that's super nice just like that <laughs> so 0 0,1 uh, seconds uh, as a delay really really works for me let's say that we want to play with the order modifier because we have some very nice and interesting uh, options here so very straightforward the reverse uh, so the random which is also interesting but we uh, we have no more that very nice pattern that felt like a wave so I'm going to go again into known for example and yeah that could be one thing that we can do I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to uh, come here I'm going to erase this animation and I'm going to start playing with the rotation so that we can see how that feels so I go forward and this is going to be one entire rotation uh, and yeah again I come here and I'm going to make uh, the animation a little bit more interesting so let's play this out to check how that feels so you can see that at the end the text delay is super super simple and easy to use and it's it is like you have a, a layer with a lot of letters, a text layer, and you make 
uh, any simple animation and with this applied it start to have this very nice delay effect so check it out uh, you can download it, it for free uh, with the try button and if you think it, it is worth it I think it, it is a fair price so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.